One of the simplest things that you can do to really boost the performance of your campaigns is split test your ads. This is so effective and so powerful that unless you have an ad that's performing 100% perfectly, you should really never only have one ad running at a time. The concept is straightforward. We let Google AdWords randomly show different ads with all other campaign and ad group parameters held constant, and then we measure how each version performs. If you're thinking that this sounds like an A-B test, then you're right. That's exactly what this is. Let's start out by using a real example. And this one shows just how long we've been doing this. Remember when the U.S. housing market was booming? Well, here are two ads that we were running for a client campaign way back when things in real estate land were still good. Can you spot the differences? You have to look pretty close, but you'll see that in one ad we spelled out the word Arizona, and in another we used the abbreviation. This gave us enough room to stick just one more tiny word in that second line. Easy. Big deal, right? There's no way that changes that small would make a difference, would they? Well, let's take a look at the numbers and find out. First off, I need to say that we can't just look at the numbers in our AdWords reports and say that if one is higher or lower than another, then that means it's better or worse. Like any other kind of testing, we need to run the numbers to make sure that our winners are statistically better than our losers. The other thing we need to keep in mind is how we're going to define better, and we'll talk more about this as we go. So, here's how we set up a split test. When we're creating or managing an ad group, we just create more than one ad. Here, you can see that we've created both of the ads I just showed you in the same ad group. Now, we could certainly do three or four here, but in this case, we're just going to keep it simple with these two. The next thing you want to do is head over to your campaign settings and make sure that you're telling AdWords to randomly display each of your ads evenly. You can do this by selecting the Rotate option in the Ad Delivery section. What this does is forces AdWords to show each ad randomly and evenly, and this is something that we need in order for our split tests to work. Lastly, we just need to make sure that we're using conversion tracking or that we're integrated with Google Analytics. One way or another, we're going to need to be able to get data around whether or not people who click on each of these ads actually convert on our goals. That's really it. Now we just run our campaigns and we wait for data to collect. Once we've got some numbers to look at, we can start running some analysis, and eventually we'll need to let this test run long enough that we get to a point where we have statistically significant differences between the ads. And this is probably going to take weeks, not hours and it's possible that one ad really isn't any better than the other. So no matter how long you run that test, you would never reach a point where the numbers tell us that one is statistically better than another. So don't forget to always inject a little common sense into your experiment. But let's keep moving with this example and with some real numbers from these two ads. After letting this campaign run for a few weeks, we've collected some data. On the first ad, the one that spells out the word Arizona, we've managed to get 564 clicks on 24,410 impressions. That makes for a click-through rate of 2.31%. On the second ad, we've gotten 1,292 clicks on just about the same number of impressions. Do a quick calculation, and that's a click-through rate of 5.12%, more than twice the first ad. And now I'm going to hit you with the stats. If I analyze this data using a normal approximation to the binomial distribution, I get a p-value of less than 0.01, which basically means that statistically, we can be more than 99% sure that this difference is not just chance. So, add 2 is clearly better, right? Well, slow down. Remember that we need to define the word better. We don't make money on the click. We spend money on the click. Our money is made on the conversion, so let's walk through those numbers. Let's say that the conversion we're measuring is when people fill out a form for a mortgage refinance. Wow! Ad 2 only gets about two-thirds as many visitors as Ad 1 to fill out that form. Again, these numbers are statistically significant, so Ad 1 is better then, right? You can see where this starts to get a little confusing, but let's fight our way through this. Let's say that we're paying about a dollar a click in this example. That means that we're spending $564 on Ad 1 and $1,292 on Ad 2. Now, we can look at the actual number of conversions we saw and do a quick calculation to see our cost per conversion. With Ad number 1, 
we're paying $10.44 for each form submission, and with Add 2, we're paying $15.95. Now, here comes the part that makes it all clear. Let's say that each time someone submits a lead on this website, it's worth $15 to us in profit. Well, now I can calculate exactly how much each ad put in my pocket. And since I know how much I spent to get that conversion, I can also figure out my profit and my ROI. Look at that. Two tiny little changes ended up being the difference between making money and losing money on this campaign. And if something that seemingly trivial can have such an impact, just imagine what your split test might show. The last thing that I want to do in this video is show you a tool that we've built that can help you do the statistical calculations quickly and for free. Just head over to this URL and click the one called PPC Ad Split Testing Tool. Go ahead and rename the ad variations. Then just pull the numbers for clicks, impressions, and conversion rate right out of AdWords and pop them in here. You should probably leave the confidence interval at 95%, but if you know what you're doing and you want to change it, just use the dropdown. Lastly, click the button and the tool will tell you if you've got a winner with respect to click-through rate or conversion rate, or if you need to collect more data. For those that want more, just click on the Show Me Details link and you'll get information around absolute differences, the actual confidence interval, and that p-value. Now, you can certainly take these concepts even further, especially if you've integrated AdWords into a robust analytics package and have a wide range of data points available to you for each of the ad versions that you test. If you want more information about web analytics or website testing in general, head over to the Google Analytics and Google Website Optimizer Essential Training courses, available right here on lynda.com. I hope this example has convinced you that you should be split testing your ads. And now that you've got a free tool to do the hard part for you, you're out of excuses. So good luck and happy testing.